we're very lucky to be chosen um, as a site for this and we're very we're very happy to do it. Um, I think it was a win-win um, for not only the library but for the Humanities Council. And I happened to find this book marker and it had on it the Pulitzer Prize, the Prizes 2016 Reading Challenge on it and then it had these five books. I think the New Mexico Humanities Council has um, always been at the forefront of creating these kinds of discussions and dialogues and bringing um, these kinds of opportunities to New Mexico and not just Albuquerque in particular, but the entire state. If you follow some of the, the tragedy in this book, and that's the other thing I felt, it had a lot more tragedy. I wish, you know, the descriptions help me heal from li you know, listening and reading the tragedy. But I, I felt like the, the plague of doves, like Amigo has pointed out, is, is something that followed people throughout. I think I wanted to hear other people's viewpoint about the book. Um, and it was really interesting um, how different parts of the book were dissected and how people saw it differently. I found that really fascinating how it meant one thing to one person that might have been something the author was trying to convey. I've always kind of judged the book I've read by my own reading. I've never asked somebody else, what did you get out of the book? And this was really a slick way to get other people's opinions, whether they agreed with mine or not. And I really appreciate other people's perspectives because I think all of us come from different, uh, different careers, different lifestyles, uh, different experiences in being brought up. And I think it was a treasure to be able to be here today and listen to other people share their experience in reading this book. The books that have been chosen for this um, Pulitzer Dialogue um, they all look at some aspect of America that is not uh, mainstream, and so I think that's important, especially uh, with a lot of the bigotry that you see in in our country right now, and a lot of the um, just a lot of the tension. I think it's important that we have dialogue about other aspects of American life. Plague of Dogs looks at. Um, tension between whites and indigenous people and um, and also the comp the complexities of American uh, communities so these are important things for us to look at and and talk about in our communities um, I'm Native American myself so I thought some of the cultural things uh, that she puts in her books I might be able to explain or I could you know um, realize because there are some common themes in um, Native American culture, um, you know, respect for elders, respect for the earth, and I thought some of those things um, I could really speak to as a member of, of, the, of um, the Navajo tribe. Yeah, I think that the cultural narratives that come up are disjointed because different people are telling the same story at different times from different angles, and it's kind of like flipping open a, a photo album on a different page each time and then you get that story or that photo but if you look somewhere else you could go backwards or you could go forward so I think that's how she's doing it almost like in a traditional oral uh, storytelling way. She was very verbally explicit and, and very rich painter of scenes of of the plains that, where I've never visited. I got a pretty nice view of what the town was, the scale of it, the desolation. When I was reading this book, knowing that I was coming into a discussion about it, it made me read it in a deeper fashion. I paid more attention. I tried to make more connections, knowing that I was going to be discussing it with, with other people. I'm an only child, so concepts of family are sometimes difficult for me to understand. And so when we're talking about multiple generations, cousins, um, she hints at characters and their relationships. And as the book went on, they became more apparent and obvious. And then hearing other people's insights to those connections and the family relationships, the small town feeling uh, really enriched my understanding of the book. It describes it as a murder mystery somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, or when I was reading the, the introduction to it, the very first page, that one paragraph is so strong and it gets you in. Then we have the, you know, the, the scene with the, the lynching, and then 
it's almost just an afterthought for a while until it comes back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that did happen. I was so involved with the other stories. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I'd like to thank the Humanities Council for putting together the format of it, you know, making it a book discussion group, finding the libraries. I think they did a really, really good job in selecting the communities in which they decided to hold these programs. I really appreciate the fact that they have looked at this as being one of the programs that they support. I would strongly encourage continuing to do that. Um, I can't think of something that can bring people together in New Mexico to discuss things that they otherwise probably wouldn't have talked about, particularly about our American culture. Mm -hmm.